The former Tory minister believes the benefits of leaving the EU are not being adequately publicised. Brexit stalwart Anne Widdicombe has urged Nigel Farage to make a sensational return to the political fray to finish the job he started. And the ex-Tory MP and Brexit Party MEP said she would consider getting back in the ring herself if the circumstances were right. Also this week, Maro Sefcovic, the EU's Brexit negotiator, met with Foreign Secretary James Cleverley and Northern Ireland Secretary Chris Heaton-Harris in a bid to resolve once and for all issues surrounding the Northern Ireland Protocol, the mechanism aimed at preventing a hard border on the island. The meeting came just days after an opinion poll published in the Sunday Telegraph last weekend suggested 33% of Tory voters now believe quitting the bloc has created more problems than it solved. Buzz Widdicombe said the survey's findings reflected the fact that Brexiteers were struggling to get their point across almost seven years on from the 2016 referendum. She told Express, I don't believe that the Brexit party should have dissolved quite as quickly as it did. Because I think there was still a job to be done. We'd got Brexit, that was quite true but we had to make sure that the Brexit we got was meaningful and that we took advantage of it and we're not doing that and therefore the other side are winning the propaganda war because we've had Covid, we've had Ukraine and they both brought enormous economic problems to the country. It was, therefore, very easy for Remainers to emphasise the downside of severing ties with Europe, pointed out Ms Widdicombe, who served along Mr Farage as one of 29 Brexit Party MEPs in 2019. She continued, I actually wrote back to a correspondent on my website who claimed Brexit had been an unmitigated disaster quoting all the statistics for what's gone right, since Brexit, that are entirely due to Brexit. But we don't hear that now. You're never going to get it from the BBC, I think we should be very proud of Brexit, we should be sticking to Brexit and we should be making the most of it now and we never made the most of it.